after being stabbed 29 times by her controlling boyfriend, an abused girlfriend sought refuge in a cupboard. Martina Turner, 53, still had a large kitchen knife in her chest as she waited for help after Stephen Wood, 54, abandoned her for dead. He promised to finish her off in May 2021 as he repeatedly stabbed her with one knife until it broke before arming himself with another and locking her in the house to die. He should be locked up forever, Tina, a college teacher, said today. Tina, from Newcastle, said she could tell Wood was agitated before the attack and that she planned to leave for a while. She suggested he go for a bike ride or take the dogs for a walk, but Wood flipped and repeatedly stabbed her from behind with a kitchen knife. I remember him shouting from behind me, you go nowhere she said. Then he pulled out the knife. I didn't realize what had happened until I noticed blood running down the front of my t-shirt. What are you doing? I asked as I turned around. The mother of three attempted to defend herself with her hand and arms, pleading with Wood to consider his family. I need to finish you off because I'm not going to prison for you, he said, pulling out a large Jamie Oliver kitchen knife. She stated. I pleading for my life. At the time, I thought I needed to be extremely intelligent. I believe you simply go into survival mode and tell yourself that any movement could be your last. I advised him to call his son because his son means everything to him. He grabbed his phone and stabbed me in the chest with the Jamie Oliver knife. She then fell backwards, breaking two ribs while attempting to flee by hiding in a cupboard. He clutched her as he sobbed into the phone with his son, telling him, I've done something really bad. Dina attempted to ask his son to call an ambulance while whispering down the phone. Wood then let go of the knife and exited the house, locking both the back and front doors. She dialed 999 and paramedics transported her to the hospital after breaking a window to gain entry. During a previous argument, Wood smashed her phone, scraped her car, and threatened to take his own life. Dina was told he had a criminal record, but she had no idea he had a history of domestic violence. Begged for my life. And when he revealed he had bipolar disorder, she took him back because she wanted to help him get better. She stated. There had never been anything like it before. It did come as a surprise. The couple's life had improved, but he was becoming anxious about a planned trip to Europe in May 2021. We hit it off right away, she said. He was amusing, outgoing, and generous. Now I think the first red flag should have been that he seemed too good to be true. However, hindsight is a useful word. He brought expensive jewelry, assisted my son in finding work, and fixed things around the house. Wood was convicted of attempted murder and sentenced to life in prison.